As our valley continues to grow, Hamilton School District continues to provide and expand crucial programs to meet the needs of our community. One of those is Early Kindergarten, an early learning program designed to provide four and five-year-olds an opportunity to develop social and emotional skills while discovering a love of learning. This is a real proactive approach where we're meeting kids where they're at when they come into um, early kindergarten and we're helping them learn to uh, be good citizens in a school situation. So they, they're making friends, they're working on conflict resolution, but they're also hitting all those things that families that have been able to provide really exceptional preschool programs for their own kids have always been able to provide. And we now are able to reach so many more kids where that wasn't always available. The program began in 2020 and is being run out of the district's Washington property. We started with just two classrooms with 12 kids in each and now we're up to four classrooms and we have 16, 17 kids in each classroom. Currently there are 74 students enrolled in early kindergarten, which includes the district's special education preschool program. That's the other part about having early kindergarten that's been amazing is that our special education students are able to spend more time with their same age peers um, and be able to have those role models so that they can also be learning um, not only like their reading and their math but those social skills which are so important for them as well when they have those role models right there with them and having a whole school full of kids has been amazing for them. In early kindergarten, the focus on academics and kindergarten readiness is developed through play-based learning. Through my learning stations, I will do like a couple academic learning stations and then I have sensory bins and other um, games and toys that they're able to play with that deal with letters or math and numbers. Um, so we're, we're doing a lot of learning, but we're also doing a lot of playing, or we'll incorporate art or some type of craft in there. They show so much growth at this age. You'll have kids that can't even hold a pencil or sit in their chair, and now they're writing their name, they're saying their alphabet, they're writing their alphabet, they're counting to 100. I mean, they just, they are sponges at this age, and they really soak it in. The idea is to give students a solid base so that when the time comes to start kindergarten, they are already ahead. You know, in some ways our learning standards have made it so what they are expected to know by the end of kindergarten is huge. So we're giving them a base so that they already have a kind of a good start before they get to kindergarten. And so it's a little easier to close that gap for them in kindergarten so that they just are successful for the rest of their school careers. They're not trying to catch up already when they're in kindergarten. The results speak for themselves. Daily elementary administrators and teachers say there is a noticeable and positive difference in students coming over from Washington. You know, just kindergarten readiness. I mean, it's, it's amazing to see how these kids are both academically and developmentally ready to go for, for kindergarten once they get here. Um, they're going through the routine of a of a full school day, they're going out to recess, they have the structure of lunch, so they, they, they know what to do when they go to the lunchroom. Um, you know, they know how to use their school supplies, they know how to share with one another. Um, a lot of uh, resolving conflict in a healthy way, all of those things. Our behaviors with our early kindergarten kids is, is way, way down um, in regards to um, kids that don't go through that program just because they're used to the structure of, of, of the school, they're used to the expectations of the teacher and so on and so forth. So it's, it's everything about it's awesome. I'm definitely noticing like those soft skills are more developed. Um, they're coming into kindergarten, um, they know how to sit in a chair and they know how to get in line and they know how to go through the lunch line. And um, so we can really kind of just jump right in with those kiddos. And the data backs it up. Through standardized assessment testing, also known as MAPS, the district is seeing exciting results from students who have gone through the early kindergarten program. All of the kids that daily take the test three different times throughout the year, and we've seen like these cohorts of kids that are moving over there have like significant improvement compared to the rest of the students. 
um, sometimes upwards of like 20 points is, is the difference that we're seeing, um, which also shows that they are gaining a lot of skills here and then they're retaining them. Really our testing is even showing that over time, those academic gains that kids have made in the EK is holding over time. Um, so we're having to intervene less and less intensively with kids, which is just really exciting because generally with kiddos that need interventions, we see a lot of kind of up and down and up and down and up and down. Um, and so we know as early educators, the earlier we can intervene with kids, the better their, their projection of academic and social and emotional growth will be throughout their entire career. As Hamilton continues to grow, the district hopes to continue offering early kindergarten as an important and crucial service for our families. It's just an amazing opportunity for our, our community to have this here um, to, to make our kids more successful, you know, so it's, it's just really a wonderful thing to have. I feel like our community is very lucky to have um, such a a large early kindergarten program. Um, my first year of teaching, there was just one early kindergarten class and um, it was hard to get those spots and people really wanted those spots. Um, and now that it's grown, um, so many more kids are able to enjoy that experience. For more information on early kindergarten and other crucial programs that require funding, go to hsd3.org. Together, we can support our kids, our schools, our town.